so speaking of the monster trucks, that was kind of a fun surprise. Yeah, right? I mean, I've been to a monster truck show a couple of times already, you know, and I feel like it's always got really good energy around it, which is fun. Um, this one I thought was really neat. I thought the kid that was only 10 years old yeah. performing was a really cool Insaniac? Guy. Yeah, the Is Insaniac. That, yeah. yeah. I loved the branding. There was Bigfoot uh-huh. and there was Rat Attack. Yes. And I'm trying to remember the others. Uh, controlled Chaos. Controlled Chaos. And the last one that I can never remember. Well, maybe he needs to work on his branding. But <laughs> <laughs> but it was the last time I saw a monster truck show, I think it was 20 years ago in the Delta Center when it was the Delta Center the first time. Right. So seeing it outdoors at Sandy Downs, even though... The wind that day, do you remember the wind last oh, Friday? Oh, the wind was terrible all day. It was Friday and Saturday. We went Friday night. Mm-hmm. I saw many a kite stuck in a tree that day. And I, RIP to all those kites. I messaged Carly and I said, does going to a place called Sandy Downs where monster trucks are going to be kicking up the sand <laughs> in you know gale force winds, 60 mile an hour winds I think we had, mm-hmm. sound like a good idea to you? And she's like, well, let's just go and see. Yeah. So we did. And the grandstand really sort of protected us Mm -hmm. from that wind. And thankfully, it was like right at sunset. Yeah. Right before sunset when they started, uh, you know, started the show. So the the wind had already died down a little. And honestly, I thought that in the grandstands where we were, it was the perfect amount of breeze. Yeah. It was was really nice. Mm -hmm. The grandstand was packed. And then they Mm -hmm. had two other, I don't know, stands that they break out for large events. Right. Those were full, too. It Mm -hmm. was... And listen to this. We'll play you a little clip. I will tell you in advance, the sound doesn't do it justice. Yeah, you could hear it thrumming in your chest. Yeah, there's no bass on this, but listen. So it was cool. The Monster Truck Insanity Tour is in their 10th year. Mm -hmm. Fun to see. Fun to get some Dippin' Dots. Yes. Who doesn't love a Dippin' Dot? (laughs) The ice cream of the future. (laughs) Is it still? Because they came along in 1988. I know, right? And I think shortly thereafter, I had some Dippin' Dots. I think it was Lagoon. Oh, yeah. Where I had my first ones. Oh, that's where I had them, too. Okay. That was the only place you could get them back in the day. At least around these parts. Are Dippin' Dots still the ice cream of the future? I mean, I know that's still their mantra, but... (laughs) No one else is doing it. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. I I I think it works. I felt very 2024 eating those. Yeah. I was like, man, in 1989, they were right about this. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Uh-huh. You know, I actually saw a really funny post the other day about Dippin' Dots and their slogan. It went something along the lines of, um, when I thought of the future Dippin' Dots meant... I thought flying cars, not this shit. (laughs) (laughs) True. Yeah. (laughs) Which I thought was funny. Dippin' Dots should be eaten in a flying taxi in Dubai. Right. I think so, too. Especially because then when you hit a little turbulence, those little frozen balls are so frozen that you've got a second to pick them all up before they melt into the carpet. Yeah, the five-second rule on Dippin' Dots. (laughs) Yeah. I actually, I ended up dropping a couple Dippin' Dots on my shirt while we were there, and I was able to shake them off before they left a mark. So Except cool. for the one that got caught in my jacket. That oh, one no. left a mark. Oh, no. <laughs> but that was it. <laughs> the Monster Truck Insanity Tour in their 10th year. You are IFAF this week. Chris Pie 5. 21 Finger Gun Salute. Pew, pew. And Chef's Kiss. To you. Monster Trucks. Trucks. For all the chest vibrating, ear ringing sound. Teeth rattling, <laughs> bone crushing. Isn't Bone Crusher one of them? Uh, not, not I think Bone one. Crusher was yeah. one of them. Anyway. I don't remember. I'm the worst. <laughs> there's another, if you like car noises, there's another one coming at, not Monster Trucks, but the All-American Throwdown Dirt Drag Racing Nationals. Ooh, I do love a drag race. Saturday, June 22nd, <laughs> 7 p.m. But usually a different kind of drag race. <laughs> 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 Kidding. <laughs> Spoons in their mouths and Easter eggs. Oh, no. I mean, like, drag queens. Yes, with spoons in their mouths and Easter eggs. Oh, okay. That's funny. I don't don't know why I pictured that kind of... Or a three-legged race. Tie the middle one together. Okay, that's actually a great idea. A potato sack race. Yes. Oh, my gosh. They could decorate the potato sacks, too. There there would be so many rhinestones. I don't know if I said Lincoln Post for the All-American Throwdown Dirt Drag Racing Nationals. Mm -hmm. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge.
or whatever. Right. 